the garden. Okay, stuck here. For goodness sake, I've neglected this for too long, it'll be impossible to dig. <laughs> Anyhow, there's no time to loiter about. What is this? What's this? A pair of shoes? How could they possibly have wound up here in my garden? Oh, they're wonderful. And they fit me just like a glove, too. These shoes. It's as though as they were made for me. I did it! Oh, if Kieferberg needs to hear about this. From now on, it's Miss Elise to you. Graffiti, Elise. Explain yourself. What is there to explain, Father? Did you not hear yourself, Lass? Parading in a St. Walpurga's place of worship, howling and shouting like a... Please, old jockin. Words of egotism, vanity, disdain for your fellow townsfolk. I've always known you are wicked, you arrogant lassie. Why you? A witch, a witch of old hull skin. I am not a witch, you. Oh, listen here, you old wretch. That's enough. I've heard enough. Old Jockin has overstepped his boundaries. I ask that you pardon him. It his concerns will be heavy, Elise. Oh, I wasn't aware singing and dancing was forbidden now, Father. Your singing was riddled with sins, lass. Vanity and lust go hand in hand with greed, your. What does any of this have to do with sin, Father? This old geezer just accused me and my grandmother of witchery, yet... Enough, Elise. Compose yourself and come inside. Your temperament is a sin in and there of itself. I guess I'll repent for something I didn't do if it makes you happy. Yet there's something I'd like to make clear to you all. You've stood witness to this foolery. You've all heard old Jockin accuse me of witchery. That's enough, Elise. You asked me to pardon him yourself, Father, and I will. And I demand your folks understand this once and for all. Out with it. I am not a mere maid of all work. I am one of you. And I demand right here, right now, that you start treating me as such. Very well, Elise, you've made yourself heard. Hmm. 
Not a shadow of a doubt, lass. Yeah, at last he's made his move. Who are you? An old acquaintance of yours, lass. What? You're favored by him, Elise. Gratefully so. You're clad in his will, from head to toe, inside out. And those shoes. My shoes? Those very shoes, Elise, are a testament of his gift to you. Who is he? Listen carefully now, my beautiful lass. Get away from me. Yours is his heritage, his soul, his adore. Don't you understand, Elise? How do you know my name? His blessings, his will, he himself is writhing in your veins, lass. What do you want from me, you old hag? You must listen carefully now, my beloved. Do as I say, and he will make all your wishes come true. My wishes, you say? Why, yes, opulence, splendor, fortune? Your deepest desire is unlike any other, Elise. I don't understand. You do, Elise. Tell me, what is it you most desire? Me? Speak it, Elise. What I most desire, that's... fortune. Fortunate you are, Elise. Deep in this woodland, there is a patron saint. Whose blissful words bestow a blessing upon the faithful. All that's requested in return are three gifts made from the testaments of one's desire. Reach his dwelling with all three of these in hand and your wish shall be granted. A womb, carrier of life, her basket is to hold all that is sacred. Tender flesh of earthly desire. The sweetest nectar to be drunk in earnest. You are to arrive in good company, the object of your affections. You are to reach the gates of his dwelling, carrying all three gifts. Voice your innermost desire, surrender yourself hopefully to his grace. The fortune you shall attain. For such his blessing and such is your desire. Elise? Elise? Elise, are you listening? <gasps> huh? Where did she go? Elise. Oh, are you already, Elise? Where did that old hag go? Elise? Elise? What's the matter with you? Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, Leb. It's best we let her rest for a while. We can sit with you, Elise. Well, it's best we give her some space, Jacob. I'm alright, I... I just felt dizzy is all. I can bring her some water, Elise. As for me, I'll be in the church waiting to have a word with you. Why don't you start, Leb? Oh, I've already started. I know you've done it, Elise. For goodness sake.
These would be for the festival, I wager. Several rolls of fabric sit tucked away to be used for the festival's various stalls and bunting. These are all old requests for Ms. Marielle. I suppose some of the townsfolk still gather here, even though she's moved across the street. Oh, how dreadful. Look what that windstorm did to our poor alleys. It did away with a few things, I see. We make too little of it, at least. I don't know what else there is to say about the windstorm, Miss Oddly. Most of the townsfolk have already put it behind them. So why can't you? Old Jockin's just as concerned as I am, lass, and for good reason. Well, here we go again with Old Jockin. Ah, oh, that reminds me. I can assure you, Miss Oddly, these shoes aren't... Old Wilhelm's making a rosary for my precious granddaughter, Gisela, you see. Won't you please go see if it's ready for me, Elise? I suppose. I don't even remember who used to live here. In its cozy nook, the old home waits to be consumed by the overgrowth. <laughs> I've been told it was Freya's mother who decorated their home. I can see where Freya got her creativity from, I suppose. We spent plenty of time repairing the stable's roof, that's for certain. Hard at work, are we, Elise? As always, Mr. Heinrich. We've heard about Eugene's horses, then. Folks are more interested in, in what happened this morning, Hendrik. What about your horses, Mr. Eugene? I'm getting a couple new ones, is all. Nothing of great importance. I wouldn't put it like that, lad. Horsepower is essential to your business, isn't it? Merchants can't lift a finger without their horses. That's great news, Mr. Eugene. Kieferberg, too. I'll be lending a hand with the preparation. A little promise, aren't we? Ah. How do they get their wheat to grow this tall, I wonder? Fully packed and golden, the wheat heads sway gently in the spring breeze. You smell awful. Any blemish just colored and wrinkled apples await to be fed to livestock. Running a hole used to have plenty of cabbages in our backyard. Several cabbages have florist on the field, nearly ripe enough to pick. I stacked them so neatly for Mr. Eugen, and look at them now. In the corner, various bundles of hay have been raked together in a disorganized pile. I don't know why, but I love the smell. Several stalks of corn stand tall, their leaves a vibrant green dark green. How long has the water been here? All the murky water sits in the livestock's basin. Hmm. Some of these aren't looking so good. Several rows of beets, some of them looking rather withered and dry. Hey, Mr. Wilhelm. Miss Audley asked me to see about her rosary. Ah, oh, that old hag can't give me a moment of peace. Oh, I suppose. Tell her she can come by my workshop this afternoon, will you? I'll rustle her up a rosary in no time at all. I thought you were making her a new one. In a way, alas, haven't you heard of repurposing? It'll be the best rosary she's ever seen. Huh. Maybe then she'll stop nagging me.
remember seeing a snake or two hiding in this hay not long ago. Stacked with hay and firewood, Kieferberg stables house much of the town's livestock. If it wasn't for Granny Gretel, I'd have to make my own bread every other day. A workbench sits outside, typically used by the town's folk of Kieferberg to bag newly milled flour. Luck, I suppose. Not like I can make my own bread, I don't need to get in there. Yours. Granny Hole took me down to the lake once, I remember. Or up deep in the, into the valleys, Kieferberg's lake spreads out between the hills. Folks were starting to get ready for the festival, I suppose. Wish they didn't leave everything piled up right in the middle of town, though. If it is not the last of the moment, I'll well, sell about those shoes, why don't you? I bought them, Miss Wilma. I bought them, she says. Out with it, lass. We're losing our minds here. I found them in our granny hole's bed this morning. Seems they were a gift she intended to give me, but. I can't say I'm too convinced, Elise. What? There's no way Old Hole could have afforded those. You, on the other hand, I wasn't aware you had the means, Elise. And I don't, as you know. Hey, but neither did Old Hole. So you mean to say that you found them under her bed? That's what I said, Miss Elma. Old Hole was full of surprises, that's true. I could be forget about the day she brought Elise to Kieferberg. Lord knows what else that old... Last was hiding, huh? Filled with dirt. So Wilma tried to make a planter, but fell, fell flat, huh? Hmm. How many afternoons did I spend here washing these folks' clothes, I wonder? Kieferberg is watching while a statue of a fish stands in the center. This woman's got a whole shed for herself, and yet, fashioned out of an old barrel, the rickety cart crust cradling a couple worn out buckets. Okay, that's there, what's here? Same? Yep, it's the same. Oh, at least you scared me stuff earlier. I did? It takes a great deal of courage to put those two in their place. You did well, at least. They're the ones being written reasonable. Unfortunately, they'll... They'll be babbling on and on about it in church, I wager. Did you say they'll be wanting a word with me, Miss Murchchild? They might, but you have nothing to fret about, Elise. I can assure you, not one soul in Kieferberg thinks ill of you, my dear. Thank you, Miss Murchchild. 
Why, the town folk are still shaken by that windstorm. I'd say they'll forget all about you and your shoes by the afternoon. Well, I wouldn't be so certain. Look, Mama, they're so shiny. You stole those, Elise. Be honest. I didn't steal them, you. Little down now, you two. More importantly, are you all right, my dear? Well, about earlier, I... There's no need to hold your tongue, Elise. The townsfolk made too much of it. That wasn't remotely acceptable. Everyone knows old Jackton's lost his wits. Don't you start, Atpel. Oh, Mama, can I get shoes like that, too? You have ugly ogre feet, Groon. Mama, Atfell's being mean again. Can't you two see I'm trying to talk to you, Elise? I'm alright, Miss Elizabeth, thank you. You can catch up later, Elise. I'd best go. I thought to have a word with Eugene. My goats aren't looking aren't doing too good. Ogre feet, ogre feet. Atfell. Apples. Hmm. Ah, there you are, Elise. Old Jockton surely went too far, I suppose. There's no need to hold your tongue, lass. That was far from reasonable. Nobody agrees with him. I suppose there comes a time when older folk lose their minds. Well, that's a different story, Muriel. I wouldn't say. There's no story, Ludwig. Elise was singing and dancing, so what? Truly. Old Jockton outburst was rather distasteful. But I have been meaning to ask where you got those shoes, Elise. Oh, there. You don't have to tell us, Elise. You're right about what you said. We all should be treating you with a little more respect. Oh, but I'm awfully curious. Anything in here? Not so certain I want to talk to these two. I'm hoping you've had some time to think, Elise. Kieferberg needs order and fellowship hands. It needs stability. You can't keep going on like this. Going on like what? You're well aware of what I'm talking about, lass. Let's keep our cool, old Jockton. Elise has spared it some thought, I'm certain. Let's say I have. You ought to listen to your elders, lass. Mm. Hard at work in those shoes, are you? It hardly make a difference, Mr. Gaido. Come on, lads, we have to get to the logging camp. Getting that maypole done in one day won't be an easy task. I must say, I'm not confident either. All we need is a little cheer, lad. Get the townsfolk feeling joy again. There's no shortage of joy in this last, that's for certain. We all saw you twirling around the village square, at least. Never managed you could sing. Oh, that wasn't. Way to keep up the cheerful mood, lass. That's precisely what Kieferberg needs most this week, I suppose. Keep that in mind, Elise. You must share more of that song and dance you hear. So. Thirty-four. 
maybe. Hmm, I don't have 30. Good day, ma'am. I, I was I was hoping Granny Gretel. Oh, you can't expect me to believe that. True, I promise. But in my auntie's life, not being worth what then? Granny Gretel gives me bread whenever I come visit. You see, she asked me to taste all the pies for the festival. That show, that is so. It really is so, Elise. You better not try Granny Gretel's patience, Andy. She's too old for that. It, it's Muffy. Miffy, Molly, Moby, it's all the same to me. It's not that silly of a name. I wonder what that old hag was trying to tell me. Elise, I thought you'd be in town. And I was. But something happened, Elise. The old fools made a tremendous fuss over my shoes. Fuss? What'd you mean? They accused me of being a witch right in front of everyone. All because I sang and danced my way to the Kieferberg. Oh, I'll show them how wicked I can be. Please. I'm losing my wits in this town, Rosemarine. There was that old hag, too, and I... I can't wrap my head around it, Rosemarine. I truly can't. An old hag? I'll tell you about it later, I... I'd best head back to work. Hey, Elise, why don't you meet me here at dusk? I can try, I suppose. I'll make you something hearty for supper, Elise. Some eggs. All the eggs you can get me. Anything change? Thank you. 
I did quite a bit with the wood cutting. Maybe the apples? Please, I oh, won't let me chop wood for her. Be silly, Jacob. You're too young for the handle of a hatchet. Can you get some wood for the hearth? Not yet. Maybe later. That's alright, Elise. Let me know if you can change your mind. It means I can do this for you, Mama. No means no, Jacob. Good grief. That was quite a show there, Lassie. Come on out, Lorelei. I need Elise to lend me a hand. Where is it, Miss Marlin? I was hoping you'd pick me some apples today, Elise. You can leave it to me, Miss Marlin. Why don't you get your shoes all dirty, Elise? It'll be fine, I'm certain. How many apples do these folks need, anyhow? How do you do? B. I stick with the wood cutting. Yes. Ah, these will do nicely. Very trouble, at least. Thank you, Miss Marlin. Surely you could have done a little bit better than that. To shoot that wager. You say so, Miss Lorley. <laughs> it, I thought I'd never find your release. Sake. Oh, what now, Miffy? It, it's your. Anyway. I don't have food for you. Shoo, shoo! But at least it, it's your... My what? Friend. Well, that's with the funny hat. She's right outside. Huh? Take me to our Molly right now. Ah, you're covered in dirt, lass. Ah, I'm... She's so funny looking. Look at her silly hat. Angelica, don't be rude. Don't you know this last Elizabeth? It, at least that she's from Grimmeldorf. I'm not from Grimmeldorf. I never had a... I, I haven't the faintest idea, Ariane. 
Oh, I'm looking for Elise. Have you seen her? Elise, do you know her? You happen to know Elise, but how do you know her last? Oh, Elise said she she's adopted. When did you hear all about all of this, Melly? Oh, if you'd please tell me where. Look, Mama, she is a tiny scarecrow. Forgive me, but does anyone know where I can find Elise? Rosa Marine. Elise. For sake. What are you doing here, you? They do know the last Elise. <laughs> ah, yes, she's. Think Elise, think. <laughs> A distant cousin from Primaldorf. Why, you don't have cousins, Elise. I do recall Hole's mother had a sister, but I never met her. Yes, exactly. Rosamarine, here is my aunt's granddaughter. Ah, it's Rosamarine. Ah, I'm so very pleased to meet you, Rosamarine. Oh, thank you. Anyhow, it's getting quite late. We'd best move along before. Ah, but do tell me, my dear. How long have you known you had a cousin? This is all very much due to me as well, you see. My, I must say that's rather strange, Elise. Oh, why did I say that? How did you know to find Lisa, alas? Oh, I... In truth, I... We... That's all Wasn't Marine knew when she came about to meet me, right? Ah, yes. Yet she never visited, did she? Yes. Oh, my auntie was of rather fragile health, you see. I do remember old Hull mentioning her family from Primaldorf, but... Must have heard it from someone, I say. Mm -hmm. Ah, most certainly. From whom? Old Hull never left Kieferberg ever settling down, and... You say her family was rather distant. Well, this is quite confusing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, would you look at the time? Ah, I think I know what you mean, Elise. That's right, you two, we wouldn't want to keep you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Rosamarine. He's delighted to meet you all. Have you completely lost your wits, Wizard Marine? I'm sorry, Elise. I knew you had a bird's nest for a brain, but this is too much. Uh, well... You know what you did. I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to. I was chasing after a flock, you see. For goodness sake, sake Wizard Marine. Why not let him frolic about? That's what goats do. He took the laundry I was tending to right out in front of my hands. I couldn't let him ruin your sheets. Alright, well. Truth is, we made a complete mess of it. I don't even want to think about Father Han's reaction. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to trouble you. Forget it, Rosamarine. It's alright. I'm telling you, it's fine, Rosamarine. I feel all I've done so far is trouble you. Which isn't a complete lie now, is it? Yet, I do enjoy your company, so... At ease. Anyhow, we ought to keep our story straight. Maybe if we tell them I came to lend you a hand in work. It. That's that, Rosemarine. Alright, hmm? right, listen carefully. Grandmother is Granny Hall's auntie, the one that never came to visit. That makes you my distant cousin of sorts, you see. Yes. They came about to meet me, but... We could have simply bumped into each other. You asked me if I knew anyone named Hull. I'm sorry, I... I don't understand, Elise. How does that relate to anything I've said? <laughs> Why you liked Kieferberg so much, you wanted to stay and lend a hand. Oh? You're a kind, charitable, loving soul who wants to help with the festival. That'll keep them from asking too many questions, I'd wager. I think that's a great idea, Elise. 
This being said, Rosa Marine, you're going home right after nightfall here. I don't want you to hang about these folk too much. Alrighty, ladies. We're making it happen right now, then. Let's go. Okay. Let's be careful, Rosa Marine. These folks are all noisy and ill-tempered. We don't want to make this situation any worse, understood? You'll see, Lise. I'll be good. You'll see. The only thing that'd be different would be the forest. Thank you. 